somebody's feeling a bit huggy today. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stanzi and this is Chip and welcome to today's video. So today's video is another one of my dressing room try on videos and I headed on over to Best and Less which I feel like it's been a bit of a while since I've been to Best and Less. Now I love going to Best and Less because I always feel like they have some pretty good like bargains there and I feel like their clothes have been getting better and better so I love checking them out. Now the store that I went to I feel like it used to have like a separate plus section but now it just looked like the plus clothes were mixed in with the regular size clothes but also most of the regular size clothes they usually go up to like I think about a 26 anyways which is pretty decent. Now if you're new to my channel, I am generally about a size 22, but it really does depend on whether the item has stretch or not, so I really just go for a range of sizes, and if they don't have the 22, I'll, I'll see if I'll size up or size down, I'll pretty much try anything. <laughs> now if you're not from Australia, Best and Less is like a clothing store that pretty much has ladies clothing, men's clothing, kids clothing, it's got like towels and a bit of shoes and a little bit of everything, like a little mini department store and it's pretty affordable. I will say I've gotten a lot of undies from there, some of them last, some of them don't, but at least they have the sizing which I like. I'm going to pop chip down and then we'll get started with the rest of the video. The first item that I tried on were these purple jeans. Now, if you guys know me, purple is my favorite color. So of course, like my eyes saw them and then I was like, this is pretty cool. They did remind me a little bit of, I'm not even sure if it was the 80s or 90s or a mixture of both. And they were kind of a bit slouchy. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna grab the 24, which is my usual size. Now in the past, I haven't been very successful with denim try-ons at Best and Less. I've always found the makes to be a little bit too small and and I can barely get them you know, above my thighs even, let alone, you know, up any further. But I was like, I'm going to give them a go because I love like the little scrunch up the top, the little like paper bag look and the 24 actually fit and I actually really liked the way they sat on me. They came up nice and high, they had a little button, they had the zip and they had the little like keyhole loops if you wanted to pop a belt in there as well and I really liked that. I felt like that kind of shaped for me where you know where you kind of have the thigh area and there was a room to move so they weren't like tight tight like they fit me. They probably should have sat looser if you like that more slouchy look but I just feel like they sat like perfectly on me. Now it was a lovely soft purple color. They were like cuffed on the bottom and now I realize I didn't even check if you could unroll them. I'm sure you could but I found that that length was perfect for me and what I love was about there was so much comfort to move around in. I feel like they're like the perfect mum jean where these are the jeans that you could even like sit at home with because most of us don't really I feel like sit in jeans because we wear the tight ones and you know you want the comfort and these ones actually feel quite comfortable to move around all day and I love the pop of purple so I really really like these. Now they retail for $35. Next up I saw this jumper that was very similar to a jumper that I've been eyeing over at Country Road. Uh, big price difference so I thought I would check it out and see how it stayed on me. Now I grabbed the 18. I'm not sure if they had a bigger size there or if I was just going for the 18 for that look. Uh, however the 18 did fit me. I like the little collar moment here. I absolutely love the color because like it was a soft purple and the funny thing is I also tried it on whilst I had the jeans on. I just felt like the look was too mum vibe, too 90s. So I kind of wouldn't wear them together even though at first I thought how cute together. I feel like the jeans look so much better without having something over it like a jumper. Now the jumper did have a matching bottom uh, but they just didn't have anything bigger than a 16 the store that I was at so I couldn't try them on because I knew the 16 just wouldn't fit me or even if I got them on they wouldn't fit me the way I wanted to so I didn't want to do that uh, and I feel like as I said then it would look really cute so the jumper on its own I thought was cute if you wanted to be like a lot more baggy and maybe a little bit longer I would have sized up but I don't mind a little bit of a crop moment 
It also had that like terry tailing on the inside, which I kind of like because I feel like that makes the jumper a lot lighter and not so heavy. So perfect for this like autumn season, especially on the days where it's it's a bit of a cool breeze in the air, but it's not that cold. So you just want something that's long sleeved and cute looking. And I feel like that's pretty good. I also feel like it would look so cute with like a little tennis skirt. Just just a moment. How cute. Anyways, that jumper retails for $30. Next up, I saw this dress that came in black and it came in green and it was this nice like a rib style long sleeve dress now i grabbed it in the green because i love a, like an olive green especially for winter i love colors i don't always draw to like black i do like a, to have a few staple items in the black but i'm someone who likes color so i loved the green and i thought let me try it on and i grabbed it in the 22 and i feel like the size was pretty decent on me uh it did kind of it was tight in the stomach area so a 24 might have been a little bit better on me however the fabric was a little thin so i feel like regardless of what size i got it would still show like the lumpity bumpities so if you're someone who's a little bit conscious about that i wouldn't recommend this dress i did like the look of it though now i'm not one that who wears like really high neck i just feel like that doesn't suit me however i didn't mind it in this dress maybe it was the color or the style but i feel like it still sat really well up the top the sleeves were nice and long and the length was like the length that i like and what i like about these like plain style dresses is you could dress it up you know you could wear a vest on it you could pop a belt on it there's like so many things you could do with it for winter that it's pretty good and you can even wear your stockings underneath if you get cold now that dress retails for thirty dollars now next up i saw this white jumper that really stood out to me and really nice and knitted and i grabbed it in a size 22 now i really love the like string tie up sort of here and then the kind of pattern it had at the front it was just a lovely jumper and it was really super duper long so it's one that would look really great over tights in winter you could wear it around the house you could go out in a i feel like if you wanted to make a short you could also like fold it over but I do know a lot of people love wearing like nice long jumpers especially over tights and maybe some boots I really loved the front detail that it had kind of coming down the center here and I just love those kind of knitted fabric and it actually feel really well sometimes I find that they are a little bit bulky and I feel bulky but I actually didn't feel that with this and I, re and I really think probably because it was long it kind of pulled the, the fabric down is it even considered fabric whatever it is it pulled it down and therefore it sat really well it also had that detail kind of on the sleeves here and a little bit that's what i like about it because it wasn't just plain knit there was a little bit of detail to it which kind of makes it look a little bit expensive as well i feel like no one would think it was like just a best and less jumper and you know what i really love white in winter i just feel like it's so crisp and just so fresh looking i also feel like how cute it would look over like a bikini and go to the beach i know it's weird but I feel like that would work really well as well. Now that jumper retails for $35. Now next up, I saw this plaid dress and I thought, how cute is that? Now I grabbed it in a size 22. There was no stretch to it, but I still normally just get my size and then I can see how I go with that. Now I think it sat so well on because the fabric was actually a little bit on the thinner side. Now a lot of the times people don't like things to be thinner, but sometimes I feel like it just sits a little bit better and not as bold bulky especially like some of the stuff that i had seen in that like i always call it flannel i don't think it is but in that plaid sort of style they're a little bit chunkier and a bit stiffer and this was like really nice and soft now it was like a t-shirt dress so it came nice and long and i love how it like dipped it had a little like tie up which you didn't have to wear you could take the tie up off but i really loved it with the top it had the pockets and it had buttons all the way down now a little bit in kind of like my hip stomach area it was a bit tight and you could kind of see where the bottom was like holding on for dear life so I probably should have sized up because they, then I would have had a bit of room to move it's not as noticeable but I could see it so I feel like it's noticeable <laughs> the length was also perfect it was long sleeve I really really like this this is probably the, my favorite thing that I tried on because it just sat so nicely and I feel like it's something that I would totally wear with some boots or just some you know flats it would look so cute and I also feel like it's classical as well it's something that I would wear like year after year and I'd really enjoy wearing it because like you could even pop a different belt you could like open up the button bits and wear like a top underneath there are so many ways you could wear this that it's 
so versatile even if you like undone the buttons you could wear it as like a jacket so I feel like for something that's just like a kind of like a dress shirt there are so many options in how you can wear this and oh. it would look really good what did you see Chibi did you see a cat no cats you sit down please now that dress retails for thirty dollars Next up, I tried on this denim shirt and I grabbed it in a size 22. Now, I have had denim shirts in the past and I'm just going to say I feel like I don't like them because every denim shirt that I've had, I have turned it into something else, like a vest or something else because I just feel like shirts just don't suit me. I feel like it's probably because I'm bigger chested and therefore they always look so bulky because I always have to size up to make sure I can get it around my breast area. Now the 22 I actually could fit it so there was room to move which I did like. I thought it might not but what I did like about this shirt was the buttons were those like claspy ones so it was like really kind of giving me nostalgia 90s where I had shirts that did that so I liked that. It had the pockets here I mean the sleeves were a decent size everything about it if you like shirts it was pretty good it's just me personally I don't like the bulk of it like I like my sleeves a little bit more not tight but kind of fitted and therefore I don't like want to have that big bulkiness around here however if I want to wear shirts I do like to kind of like tie them up here or maybe even crop them so I feel like there is a lot that you could possibly do with this shirt now that shirt retails for $30 now next up if you're a regular over at best and less you'll see they always have this like little middle section that has like jumpers and track pants and t-shirts so it's kind of like the general area of like staple items and I thought I would try on a jumper from there just to show you guys the fit of them because they all are the same they just have different like graphics on the front of them so that will depend on what you like so I grabbed this green one that said Chow Bella now once I try this on I did realize I already have a jumper at home it doesn't say Chow Bella but it's a different one from last year and it's the exact same fit and I don't love the fit. I realize the reason why I don't like the fit is I don't like the arms. Whilst when you look at them, the sleeves look like a decent length, but as soon as you do this or this or anything, the sleeve starts going shorter and that kind of bothers me. I don't, I just don't like that. Like I like a sleeve just to sit nice like that. And therefore I just feel like this area, if that makes sense, is not what I like about it. So it was like a little bit bulky. They also have that like terry telling on the inside that is like my preferred rather than fleece. It's just, as I said, it's too, maybe it's too jumpery. I'm not a huge like jumper, jumper like person per se. I've always been more of a zip up person. Let me know, comment down below, let me know, are you a jumper or are you a zip up like hoodie type of person? Overall, the jumper, not too bad, not really for me. That one retails for $14. I feel like green was the color of the moment. <laughs> so next up, I tried on another sweater that was in this like a grey green sort of colour and what I wanted to try on was it had like this big kind of turtleneck here and it was a little bit weird that bit there now the rest of the jumper bit was really nice like the knitting was very nicely done and the pattern was really cool the neck thing was just weird it was so bulky that it sat like this and it was just kind of like I don't know I feel really weird about it I really didn't like it I'm not I've said this in the past I'm definitely not a skivvy person I don't like them however if it's soft and I can barely tell I would wear it but something like this was just so bulky up here that I just did not like it and it was so stiff also it had a bit of a smell to this jumper so you know you would definitely like need to wash it to get that smell out of it uh which you probably would anyway but i just that bit really bothered me now i tried on in a size 22 i'm just finding what i've noticed with this jumper and a few others is i feel like it's the length of these jumpers that doesn't work for me now i feel like i like something either super long or super cropped but the middle length doesn't work for me and probably makes me like not like things as much so I feel like this is something I might like fold over just for it to sit a little bit shorter uh, however it, it did look nice on I feel like on jeans it would look pretty decent on now this jumper retails for $35 and lastly I grabbed this dress that I feel like is a really nice like autumn dress it seemed to be like a linen fabric as there was no stretch to it so I grabbed a size 22 to see how that will fit the size worked really well for me 
uh, I, I like the style of it. I kind of liked how it had the little strings coming out here. I like the long sleeve. I like the kind of idea of it. Uh, I feel like for my body, I needed the like, I was going to say corset, but I guess because it had like a line here, I needed that bit to come up a little bit higher or a little bit more in because it kind of sat too far out and it looked a little bit weird. I think it was elastic. The problem is if I had sized down, I felt like then it would be too tight in the bust area. It probably would have looked good in the waist. So for my proportions, it probably didn't work as well. Otherwise, I thought it was really cute. I liked how it kind of came out. It was a, like a little bit shorty, but not like too short at all. And nice and long sleeve. So something like in this season where it's like a cool day and you need a dress for, you know, going from here to there. Or if you need to, if you're going for a lunch somewhere, it would be really cute. The colors are very autumn as well. And the fabric was also light, so therefore if you're out and the sun is hitting you, I feel like you would still be okay and you wouldn't be too hot in it. You probably wouldn't even need to like pull up the sleeves or anything. All in all, pretty decent. If I was to get that, I'd probably bring it in a little bit in the waist, just so then it sat like in and then I wanted to come out and look like really cutesy and girly because I feel like it's like a fun girly dress. And that dress retails for $35. And that is everything that I tried on at Best and Less. So I feel like they still haven't fully transitioned into winter. I guess it's not winter yet. It's still autumn. But I do know a lot of the shops like to go like, I feel like nearly a season earlier. <laughs> so I guess they will, you know, in a few weeks, I'm sure they will have a lot more winter stuff. So we will do another try on in a month or so and see what's new. Now, if you do enjoy these dressing room try-ons and hauls and fashion and vlogs and stuff like that, and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please feel free to hit that subscribe button below. And if you did enjoy this video, please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And that is it for this Try It Tuesday video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Are you a good boy? Yeah. Now, if you are new to my... I can't speak. Did I get the spot? Let's <laughs> just start again.